Namaste from Nepal. That is where I am shooting this new video for my YouTube channel. A channel on which I raise awareness that children belong in families and not in institutions like orphanages or children's homes or hostels as they are called in Nepal. I got this tikka today in a temple so that probably gave my location already away a little bit. I'm in Nepal because I attended BICON 2023, the international conference on alternative care for children in Asia. While in Nepal, I was asked to give some training sessions to workers of the Jana Hitashi Foundation. Jana Hitashi Foundation is running a hostel in Nepal. And I got introduced to the CEO Bodraj Adhikari by Yolanda Bell, chairperson of the Dutch partner Nepali Children's Foundation. Yolanda was one of the participants of the coaching trajectory organized by the Better Care Networks Netherlands, of which I was one of the speakers and coaches. The goal of this coaching trajectory was to support Dutch NGOs in their transition away from institutional care towards a family-based care approach. And in this video, I'm having an interview with Bodraj about their transition. I am in beautiful Pokhara. As you hear in the background, there is a beautiful river flowing and that gives some of the background noise. But let that not hold us back from this uh, interview that I'm going to have with Bodaraj Adikari from the Jana Hitashi Foundation. Namaste, Bodaraj. Namaste. Thank you for having this talk with me. You have a hostel, or it's another word for a children's home. Yeah. But you are in a transition away from institutional care towards a family-based care model. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about Jana Itasi Foundation, about you and how you came to the conclusion that, yeah, it's better for children to grow up in families. First, when we are uh, starting time, we see the children in trouble. Uh, by this way, that time we are thinking uh, children need help. And we are thinking about, especially children need help, we are helping for shelter, food and education, that's the enough for children we are thinking. Then many small small things give me not good feeling about what we are doing. Even we are giving so much everything but still children are comparatively not so much happy. So what was it that you gave you that feeling like hmm? Mm. Is that the right way? Of, of course, uh, many times we are comparatively other children, we guiding a lot them. We try to give a lot of happy times, but still they are not feeling happy. Many times they miss family or brother or sister and they miss culture, their own culture. They don't know about that one. Still we try to give them cultural feeling, family feeling, but it's not work out. Then we have to go thinking why it happened? We slowly find out by um, you. Last time we meet with you by this also we have a more idea to think about them. Why they are not satisfied. Looks outside they are satisfied but inside they are not satisfied. And many times I, I compare with my children and their, their hostel children and also society children. So there is uh, so many things different. And same time, we are not thinking about their inner feeling. They are also missing their family. Is that also what they tell you that they are missing their family? Uh, but directly they are not telling. But uh, later we talk with them. But anyhow, they missing. Some children have parents. They coming to visit, and other children have uh, no parents coming, and they are really sad, crying. Eh? By this way, also we can feel. Just to have it clear. How many of the children in your care? have parents? Uh, by real parents, they have uh, almost all have parents, single parents. Only one we have till now, we have uh, no parents, but we still they have uh, uncles or other relatives. And what is the reason that these children uh, end up in your care? Uh, most reason is the economical reason. 
if you want to place them back, and what are you going to do so they are going to look after their children? Every Friday, parents coming to pick up child, child, and that time we give some family management, hygiene part, and guiding part, this type of training. And after parents realize it is better for children to be with us, and children also they feel. I, I better for me or they ready to go to parents only that time we migrate so guide the family make family responsible then children happy family happy so now before when we are starting hostel that time we do uh, maybe till 18 years child stay in hostel there, there is a all thing in hostel or shower now good food uh, good uh, sleeping bed and good everything good clean and everything managed but after 18 years they have to go back to their situation yeah so by this way they have to struggle that part they don't know about family situation they don't know about community a culture so many things so just to make clear because maybe some people don't understand when you say they have to leave mm. when the hostel when they're 18 because that's by law when you're 18 you're not a child anymore yeah. and then you cannot stay in a children's home or yeah. in a hostel or any orphanage or Yes. in institutional care, yes. right? Yes. And you yes. also have success stories where the parents did not take good care of their children and now they do? Uh, yeah, we, we have uh, two success stories. Okay, great. That is, uh, just, just uh, still we have to look on. We yes. just start a few months before, but now when they, one of the boys he migrate with uh, mothers and sister, many times when I am going checking, he's really happy with the family. What would you say to other organizations in Nepal or other people from abroad when they supporting orphanages or uh, institutions or starting institutions? I, I say by my experience, by my knowledge, I like to request, please don't bring child in hostel or institution care. Try to find out solution. There is a really huge family. Inside the family, if not inside the family, please make responsible society and society can help if not society cannot help there is a local by local government or other way we can help if not that way also then last option is institutional care i i suggest that way yes yeah i think it's just amazing because last year october yes. you found out that uh, the hostel that you were running there were better options of taking care of these children yes. and you right away said we have to change. So I think that's very admirable. Yeah. Um, not much resistance and you're already doing some great work. Mm. And yeah, I hope you can bring all of your children back into families and you become an advocate in Nepal yeah. that other people really think about changing the way they care for children mm. away from institutional care towards family-based care. Thank you for the talk and keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. We hope you liked this video. If yes, please hit the like and subscribe button below and share this video. Then you help us to share the message that children belong in families. Namaste. Namaste.